it's it's good that um, the conversation's been brought to the table. One hundred percent. And you know, it's almost as if you don't take the prop the, the side, the right side that you're you're completely wrong. It doesn't seem like there's a lot open for discussion. And that's unfortunate because it, it really is a, a very wide open sort of space that we live in, I think. And when you when you, when you ask me these questions and, and I, I seem super chill um, and f- philosophical, it's because, yeah, I, I'm, I am super chill and, and philosophical, but I'm also pretty uptight and I'm pretty annoyed and angry. Okay. And all of those things exist in me. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think that they don't get as much done. I think that those are Fair. those are those are tools that I have. That if I go to and like I, I mean, yeah, if I if I go to like those tools and how I really feel about a lot of things like what we've talked about, um, then that's my fuel for myself, and and that that allows me a way to like start to heal myself and and try to bring out just a little bit more of the other vibe. Mm-hmm. which I think gets a lot more done. It's funny, like when listening to the show about uh, Shopping Wild Brown, an idea that I never thought about before that I've put into practice seems to work out a little bit better in a lot of ways. Because I, here's, here's what happens is I start to forget that I'm brown. Okay. Which is really great. Because that's the first step, for me at least, I can't speak for anybody else, but it's the first step for me to be like, Okay, now I can get over this. So that's my question for you. Because it's it's super easy as fucking 41-year-old white dude walking around in North America to never think about race. Like, race isn't... Like, I do... I, there's never been a point in... And there are some guys that do way too much. But well, that's, there, that's there's... why the conversation is important to have. Right. Because you're admitting that a lot of people, like yourself haven't really thought of that Mm -mm. because it hasn't really been part of your reality and it isn't so it's up to the people who have had that as part of the reality to discuss it with the people that haven't right and not to like get really upset with them because i understand that i get upset with my child who happens to be seven years old when she's not listening to me or when i'm frustrated because it's taking a little bit of time to um connect in a way where that's the easiest example that I can right. use. It's like, I, I'm a first-time father. It's not like anybody who has a child is, and it's the best way to, to say it. It's like, okay, this is the first time a lot of people are dealing with this idea or this reality, and that maybe a friend of theirs who they have always sat beside in class. I mean, you grew up in Detroit. Well, yeah. Windsor, yeah. Windsor, but, and I grew up here, so I, I sat... I sat uh, uh, beside a lot of white people who may never have uh, ever understood that the problems that I was going through, they're not pro- they're problems with the realities. That's the better, better term. Um, that I heard and was going through were different from theirs. And, right. and I didn't really think that either. It's like, we're children and it doesn't occur to us. And it's really hard to talk to a friend about it until you're just like, you know what, maybe if I forget, that they're actually new to this as well. This conversation's new to them. So I ha- I should have a little bit more responsibility in not getting upset with somebody who doesn't understand and try to uh, help them understand. Right. Which is why I feel in a lot of ways, it's like, and I understand why people are angry and I understand you got to stand up for something and I do and I, I feel that way, but I just think that I get a lot more done when I being kind to people. Mm-hmm. It seems to work a little bit better. Like, I think that, no matter what side of whatever argument you work on, if you keep that in mind, you're going to be way better off. Don't forget you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. 
The full episodes, highlights, and our live off the floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.